I want to thank everyone who contributed to my birthday fundraiser last year and tell you how we benefited from those contributions and invite you to contribute again this year because we have an exciting year ahead. But over the past year, we were able to uh, redesign our website. So if you haven't been to authoradventures.org recently, go take another look because we've been doing some really great things with it and updating it in a bunch of different ways. And that's partly due to your contributions. Also, we have in the works a new app that's going to help you find the nearest literary landmark to you. And it'll be super fun and easy to use. And that's in development. And we also have been getting more and more involved on the ground with historic preservation. And there are two literary landmarks that are up and coming that we've been working with a national partner and local stakeholders to see what we can do to benefit these literary landmarks and give them the type of look that will be welcoming to visitors. So those are some examples of what we've been doing. Um, but in addition to that, we're continuing to do our research. In this past year, we researched uh, literary landmarks in the state of Washington and Virginia. And we had a very exciting opportunity that happened right in Arkansas. Rebecca, tell us about that. Yeah, in January, I had the privilege of visiting Stamps, Arkansas and meeting the mayor and getting a um, firsthand look at sites associated with um, the great writer and civil rights activist, Maya Angelou. It was a very meaningful trip, very memorable, and had it not been for Author Adventures, I'm not sure it would have happened for me. But because of my involvement with Author Adventures, so many wonderful trips, eye-opening, world-expanding, mind-expanding experiences have come my way, and it's been absolutely wonderful. So we just want to thank you again for your support and ask if you would renew that support again this year. And if you haven't given before, if this would become your first year, we would love to benefit from that so that we could continue to work toward preserving literary historic landmarks.